Howdy, y'all. Welcome back to the Dallas Cowboys news update, where we mix a bit of sadness with a whole lot of excitement. Today, we're tipping our hats to some of our departing players like Gallimore, Armstrong, and Dante Fowler. It's tough seeing them go, but hey, that's the NFL for ya. We'll be reminiscing about the good times and the impact they made on and off the gridiron. But hold on to your boots, cause here comes the juicy stuff. You know how them rumors swirl faster than a Texas twister? Well, word on the street is that Odell Beckham Jr. might just be eyeing up that star on our helmets. Can you imagine? The thought of OBJ strutting his stuff in Dallas has got the whole Cowboys nation buzzing like a hive of bees. Yo, folks. Gather round, cause we gotta talk some serious Dallas Cowboys news, and man, it's a wild ride. So, picture this, the mighty Dallas D-line? Yeah, it's talking some serious hits in free agency, like a tornado just ripped through it, and let me tell ya, it ain't looking pretty. First off, Neville Gallimore decides to pack his bags and head for the Miami Dolphins. Can you believe that? Then, to add insult to injury, Jonathan Hankins, he's off to link up with our old defensive line coach turned Seahawks defensive coordinator. Ain't that a kick in the teeth? And don't even get me started on Dorrance Armstrong and Dante Fowler. Those boys up and followed Dan Quinn, our ex-defensive coordinator turned Washington Commander's head coach. Like, seriously? That's two big-time pass rushers, just poof, gone from the Dallas lineup like they never even existed. Now, we gotta give credit where it's due. Hankins, he's been a real anchor for our run defense, and Gallimore, well, he's shown flashes of brilliance in that interior D-line rotation. But dang, losing these guys? It's like a gut punch, you know? Now, let's talk about Gallimore, alright? This guy, he came in hot as a third-round rookie back in 2020, but then bam. He takes a hit, messes up his elbow in 2021, and it's like, whoa, what's gonna happen now? Dude had to claw his way back, both physically and mentally, you know, getting back into that groove after the injury. But hey, come 2023, he's back in the game, baby. Made the final roster in August and had a killer season to boot. That's what I'm talking about. Now, here's the Dialio. Gallimore's hitting free agency for the first time, and after his comeback last season, everybody's eyeing him up for 2024 and beyond. And guess what? There's a whole bunch of fresh blood itching to prove themselves next season. We're talking about guys like OSA Odegizawa holding down the fort, but we need more than one stud on that defensive line, right? Gotta have backups for Parsons and Lawrence, cause you never know when they'll need a breather or if the injury bug decides to bite. Now, whether we snag some new talent in free agency or the 2024 NFL draft, that's still up in the air. But what's clear is the pressure on players like Motsi Smith, Chauncey Gulston, and the crew. These guys gotta step up big time, or they'll be sweating it out come summer, trying to hang onto a roster spot. Take Smith, for example. First round pick in 2023, got all the potential in the world to wreak havoc at nose tackle. But he's gotta shake off that rookie slump, you know? And with Hankins out, Smith's gotta level up fast under Mike Zimmer's wing. Our run defense is counting on it, along with Galston stepping up his game alongside Odegizawa, both stopping the run and bringing that heat on the pass rush. Now, Galston stepping into a contract year, which ought to give him that extra push, especially with them Dallas Cowboys in the mix. Signs are pointing to this 26-year-old getting plenty of chances to shine, especially with some of them older boys moving on. Fihoko's got a bit of a tougher road ahead compared to Galston. See, he didn't get burned much as a rookie last season, but year two's gonna be different. He was a fourth-round pick last April, and the kid's got some serious drive, just needs to polish up his technique. Now, it's gonna be interesting to see if Zimmer sees him more as a three-tech or on the edge. Then there's Sam Williams. With Fowler gone, he's got a clear path to more playing time, and let me tell ya, this guy's talent is as fierce as it gets. He can stop the run, rush the passer, and wreak havoc on special teams, but he's gotta watch them penalties. Finding that balance between aggression and keeping it clean will be key. So, the Cowboys got some real questions to answer this summer and before the 2024 season kicks off. For the first time in a long while, their D-line depth's looking mighty thin, so it's gonna be interesting to see how they handle it. 
Stay tuned for more Cowboys news, cause things are heating up. Alright y'all, buckle up, cause we're fixin' to dig into the latest buzz about America's darlin', them Dallas Cowboys. But hold your horses, before we get into today's juicy gossip, let's mosey on down memory lane, shall we? Remember when them Cowboys were eyeing up Odell Beckham Jr. about a year back? Hooey, talk about excitement in the air. But dang it all, it didn't pan out. Now, here we are again, wondering if OBJ might just be the missing puzzle piece for them Cowboys. The rumors are churning once more, and this time, they got a different vibe. With big shots like Tyron Smith and Leighton Van Der Esch hitting the road, them Cowboys are standing at a fork in the trail. Is it high noon for Jerry Jones to pull a bold move and light a fire under Cowboys Nation? Let's rustle up some Dallas Cowboys news and rumors and see where this rodeo takes us. Alright, y'all ready to dive deep into some expert opinions? Buckle up cause we got a real treat today. Joining us is none other than, expert's name, the main honcho over at the Fish Report, and a bona fide NFL guru. Now, expert's name, spill the beans on what you reckon about them Cowboys sniffing around Odell Beckham Jr. Sure, some folks might holler desperate at the Cowboys for I and OBJ, but let's keep it real, folks, this ain't desperation, it's strategic scheming to get our boys back in the game. We ain't just throwing darts at the board here, we're playing chess, not checkers. Now, Cowboys faithful, it's your time to chime in. You reckon OBJ's the golden ticket, or should we be scouting elsewhere for backup? Drop your two cents in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and mash that notification bell so you never miss a slice of Cowboys news, cause you know how we do, keeping you in the loop 24-7. Y'all, check this out. The word on the street is buzzing, but let me tell ya, the Cowboys ain't fooling around when it comes to chasing Odell Beckham Jr. now, whether you're jumping in with both boots or just cautiously peek in over the fence, one thing's for dang sure, this ride we're heading on is gonna be one wild adventure. But hold your horses, folks, cause we gotta reckon with the nitty gritty of this whole trade scenario. What's it gonna take for the Cowboys to rope an OBJ? Are we gonna have to cough up some serious goods, or can we wrangle a deal that keeps everyone happy? You know, history's got a funny way of playing tricks on us, but that don't mean we're doomed to repeat the same old mistakes. Let's wise up from what we've been through and tackle this opportunity with some clear-eyed smarts and a game plan. We've rounded up some of y'all's reactions from social media, and let me tell ya, the debate's on fire. From folks passionately pleading their case to others feeling cautiously skeptical, Cowboys fans ain't holding back. Now, we got a group of NFL insiders and analysts in the house to give us their take on the whole OBJ saga. Thanks for jumping on board, y'all. Let's get right into it. Is Odell Beckham Jr. the missing link for the Cowboys, or are there better options on the horizon? Wrap pin up today's show, let's take a minute to think about where we're at. The road ahead might be looking a bit blurry, but there's one thing we can count on, the undying support from Cowboys Nation. Whether we're popping champagne after a win or battling through tough times, we stick together like family, bonded by our love for America's team. Now, snag Jin Odell Beckham Jr. would be a game-changer for the Cowboys' offense. With his blazing speed, sharp routes, and top-notch catching skills, Beckham Jr. brings a whole new level of excitement to the Cowboys' passing game. Alright y'all, let's talk football and let's talk Dallas Cowboys. You know, pairing OBJ with Dak Prescott's killer arm talent? That's like mixing up some Texas barbecue with a cold one on a hot summer day, it's just a match made in football heaven, y'all. Now, Beckham Jr.'s got that deep threat magic, something the Cowboys have been Hank Aaron for. I mean, when he's out there on the field, defenses gotta respect the deep ball threat, opening up lanes for other receivers and our running game. It's like adding some extra spice to your chili, it just kicks things up a notch. And let me tell ya, having that vertical threat not only brings in the big plays, but it also takes some weight off our offensive line. Them defenders gotta stay on their toes cause they know Beckham Jr.'s out there ready to make a move. Sure, we already got some talented receivers like C.D. Lamb, but adding OBJ? Shoot, that takes us to a whole new level, folks. His knack for pulling double coverage? That's like having the best chili cheese fries at the game, everybody's gotta have a piece. So, y'all better keep your eyes peeled for them Dallas Cowboys news updates cause when it comes to our team, every day's like a new episode of your favorite TV show. And with Beckham Jr. in the mix? Well, let's just say you won't wanna miss a single play.